joining us with reaction, Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Senator, you've been down there. You've been warning everybody how bad it is. This is the biggest super spreader in the country. Now, I'm going to yep. argue, you know, the high rate of COVID positivity at that border, any American that is infected because Joe's not enforcing the laws of this country, you can blame Joe Biden for COVID. And if you die, I would put the blame on him, too. Why, why won't they stop this super spreader event? Because it's happening in the hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Sean, you're exactly right. People across the state of Texas, across the country are pissed and should be pissed. People are dying and Joe Biden doesn't care. Kids are getting assaulted, sexually assaulted, raped, and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris don't care. We've had over a million illegal immigrants in the last six months under Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, and they don't care. You take the city of McAllen, releasing 7,000 illegal immigrants into McAllen, all of whom are positive with COVID. And, and I put that in perspective. McAllen is a city, its population is about 141,000. That means 5% of the population of the city consists now of illegal immigrants who've tested positive for COVID that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are just dumping there one after the other after the other because they won't enforce the law. And instead, what does Joe Biden do? He lectures the state of Texas. He lectures the state of Florida. He cannot stand that our states are open. He cannot stand that our schools have been open. He cannot stand that people are going back to work. He wants to get back to the jackbooted thugs. You had on Bill de Blasio this morning, I got to say, or, or earlier tonight, if the jackboot fits, these Democrats, they want to shut down your business. They want to shut down your church. They want to shut down your school. They want to force you to get mandated. And all of this is wrong. For Americans, it's vaccine mandates, it's mask mandates, it's vaccine passports. But for Joe's illegal immigrant population, is no testing, high rates yep. of COVID positivity. Then you get to the spreading it out all over the country. Um, and, and basically, nobody gets a vaccine, nobody gets a test, they get processed, they get then taken care of by the states. States are responsible for food and shelter education and health care. Is that about right, Senator? That's right, but it's even worse than that. The Biden cages where they temporarily detain these folks, I've been to them in these tent cities where you have thousands upon thousands of kids packed in on top of each other, crammed in in unsafe, unsafe cages. When, when I was there a couple of months ago, I brought 19 senators with me to see firsthand what was there. The rate of COVID positivity was over 10%. These Biden cages filled with kids are COVID incubators. And, and, and all of these folks that lecture self-righteously about science, they don't give a flip about science because they wouldn't be doing this if they did. They hey, care Senator. about power and control. Yep. If it wasn't for you, they wouldn't let my cameras in those facilities. You got that, that videotape. You shared it with this program. And if it wasn't for you and, and a few others, we wouldn't have been able to show Biden's overcrowded cages with kids on top of each other in the middle of a pandemic with no testing. But we'll take away the rights of every American. Whatever happened to medical privacy, doctor-patient confidentiality? You, you, you've argued before the Supreme Court with a pretty high percentage of winning many times, Senator. You tell me, does that sound constitutional to you? Look, the, it, it doesn't. The left doesn't believe in your privacy. It doesn't believe in your freedom. And, and, and they try to portray it as, as an extreme choice. They, they, they say, if you think people should have individual choice, then you don't believe in science and you want everyone to die. No, look, you, I, I believe in science. You believe in science. This is a dangerous disease. We've taken extraordinary steps to deal with it when it comes to vaccines. I, I believe in vaccines. I've been vaccinated. My family's been vaccinated. But I believe in individual choice. I think you have a right to make a choice whether or not you want to take the vaccine. And you could measure the costs and benefits. And in my view, there should be no COVID mandates. That means no mask mandates. That means no vaccine mandates. That means no vaccine passports. And, and these authoritarian Democrats are wanting to mandate and force and stick a needle in your arm. Doesn't matter what you think. Doesn't matter if you think you need it. As you noted, they don't care if you've had had COVID and have natural immunity, it's not about the science. It's about them controlling your lives and the contempt they have for individual Americans making choices for their own families. 
in times of crisis, someone's character is revealed. And I think Biden and Harris and, and, and Newsom and, and Cuomo and all of these Democrats have really revealed their characters. Joe Biden's policy is are, are causing Americans to get sick. And I think if you look at the percentages, some of them will die. Joe, stop your super spreader event. Enforce the laws and control the border. Senator Cruz, thank you for being with us.